back to Get With The Programming Guy. I'm Chase Ingram. I'm Captain America. And along with me is Bill Grundler. Wolverine. And I have what could be arguably like one of the hardest working men in the business right now. Totally. Is uh, Mr. John Young is on the show. He's not the only one, though. Second. My there he is. Hey. There he is. <laughs> Everybody loves me because I am awesome. My name is Tyler. I got to say, dude, like, awesome. that's one of the best ones. Like, I, even cooler than mine. Like, I just, like, it just, I just get into a groove mode whenever he's on. Because I am awesome. And I, I was, like, just looking for random things that had... Tyler in it, and oh. I found this. It's like a YouTube song that has like 37 views. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever this person is that we're just ripping, I, I just I I feel like Tyler plays this uh, like on his wedding night. It just feels like a feels like a wedding night song. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Janet's man. tired of it. She's like, would you just shut up? Like, I'm the, you're not awesome anymore. <laughs> Uh, it, well, you were I, awesome. Yeah. You well, used Heat to one be was awesome. awesome. Heat one was awesome. This uh, right. this weekend was awesome. It's not over yet. I mean, Tyler or Taylor versus the world's over. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Like, hearts, though. yeah, it's really sad. That was yeah, the everything you guys did was fantastic. Like John, you were how how close you got to some people's times was. Yeah the dumbest thing I watched all weekend. And I mean that in like a positive, I was like, like oh, 15, 54 for sure. I it's mean, like, two, 270 to 300 is probably the dumbest thing that you I, I, <laughs> but, but, but. You redeemed yourself, dude. Yeah. You redeemed yeah. yourself. You, you totally redeemed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, that was wild. It's right there. There's a, there's definitely um, a little, uh, I, dude, almost, almost like, games depression mode where it's like when it's all done oh, yeah. you're just kind of like oh it's done yeah it was <laughs> you know it was like that like yesterday it was over so soon too it was like all right we get a like you know i get maybe an afternoon show I'm yeah, like oh yeah. no oh it's over <laughs> oh, okay but it wasn't without fireworks we talked about that uh what was that last night was that last night did that all finish yesterday yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Saturday. Update. Yesterday yeah, Saturday. yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So yeah, the morning part and then the update show was last night. Yeah. Oh, hi, Tyler. I told him to come back just because your your voice was not synced with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. But uh, all right, today we are at the halfway point of quarterfinals. Even though Taylor versus the world is over and everyone feels like quarterfinals is done, it's not. We have. It's we still have. Right, uh, right now, halfway mark. Halfway mark. I still got to redo hours. two workouts. Me, you better I get have on it. One. And uh, I still have 24.4 to do. That'll be tomorrow. Same. And depending on my ego, uh, we'll see what happens after that because I still have all day. I cherry picked. Make, <laughs> make poor decisions. I only did the last two. I was like, fuck oh, no. the first two. <laughs> I was like, I, I'm not hurting this. At <laughs> I, I watched everybody do that wall ball workout and I was like, nope, guess not. Guess I'm not doing that. Yeah. I, I'm glad I did it before Taylor did. Yeah. I did it immediately after. No, it was <laughs> the worst decision ever. <laughs> it was, it's, it's actually it's kind of it's interesting watching those guys do it and then you know see Taylor do what he did, mm -hmm. and then when you do it, following that you're like, okay, now I did say analytically speaking, the second round was going to be bad, and this is why everyone was going to slow down, and then you're like, oh, this is why the second round is so mm -hmm. bad. Yeah. And why, like, your brain goes to mush at, like, 27 on the second round. We're like, this is dumb. This is just dumb <laughs> this now. Is tough. This I just is felt dumb. bad for, I felt bad for the people watching me. Like, I had, like, like it wasn't, like, a big thing, like, Taylor versus the world or anything. But I had, like, three people wanting to see what I would do. Like, you know, my gym wants to see what I'll do. And I look up at the 10 minute mark and I'm, I'm redlined. Like, it's over. <laughs> it's over. At the 10 minute mark, it's over. And uh, I look up and I'm like, oh my goodness, <laughs> this is going to be 10 minutes of, and if anybody watched my story uh, on Instagram, I posted like 30 seconds of me doing burpees. 
it was just 10 minutes of that slow slog burpee the entire time. <laughs> there was no speed up. That's what it was. And I just felt bad for everybody. I'm like, guys, I'll just, like, woke up and I just apologize. He's like, you guys can go home. Really? Yeah, please go get, a, go get a beer because yeah. this is going to be rough. Uh, that's, that's, that's how it felt. <laughs> watching. We would say that uh, on a broadcast. I, I don't know if I should spill this secret. We would, we would call the last person something. And oh, it was reminiscent. Say it? Can I say it? Yeah. We call Nine them Dying Zebra. Zebra. Dying Zebra. <laughs> when Dying you're just Zebra. watching the nature oh, yeah. channel and you're just looking at this lion hold on to the zebra's neck and just you're just sitting there just and slowly sitting there watching like them die. <laughs> it's, a, it's a similar sentiment. You're just like, oh, I don't, I don't want to watch this, but I'm gonna continue to watch it. Or it's like I feel like I can't leave. I feel like it'd be rude. Yeah. They're already going through enough. I feel like I should just be here for support. That's um, what I felt I like. Say that because I've been a dying zebra, zebra, several times in competition. I was one during the muscle up workout this week. <laughs> Bryson and I, I, I did it together. Talk about that, that I'm so mad about. Oh, John, that. Um, would you like to tell us what you did on yeah, the four point three workout? You're like, <laughs> oh, I got six muscle ups. I'm so pissed I didn't finish. Well, I got I got seventeen ring muscle ups. I was three I'm reps sorry. off. I was thinking sixteen. That, yeah. it's, I'm still wrong. I got well. six. Um, that's yeah, that's right. you got got 17, six. Yeah. dude. Um, I don't, I have no idea. And listen, I don't make mistakes like this. Like I'm, I'm usually the one who like, I run like our gym, like everybody else is just stupid. And I don't know why people like get flustered <laughs> brain. And I'm like, guys, it's this, just do this. It's fine. Like, I don't oh, know why. You, and I did 15 <laughs> handstand pushups every round. <laughs> and, and, and then, and I'm three reps short of finishing. And I'm like, that I would have finished no problem. Like, and um and That'll do it. Yeah. So I just I don't know. I had it in my head that's what it was, and I just didn't look at what it was supposed to be. And um It's okay, dude. We only called the event and talked about I the know, numbers and over that's what and over me. and yep. over. Yep. Well, I did it before we called that event, so I don't want to talk about oh, it. Okay. But, so uh, it was, it was uh, safe, man. you're safe. But then it, it just it dawned on me, and I'm like, well, that's very unfortunate. But hopefully tomorrow's redo goes goes mm. fine. Um, yeah. So you can yeah you can finish that. Yeah, you can yeah. do it. Yeah. Um, Bill's slowly just quietly over here just beating the crap out of all of us in quarterfinals. Always um, does. Which is ridiculous. Like, His, would you get on? Two ninety one is stupid. It was a 291 on the way workout two. 24 yeah, two. Yeah. So you're, yeah, you're yeah. nine reps away from finishing. The That's why I was doing the all like the over the box jump. I'm like, shoot, I think that makes you faster a little bit or no, it looks dude, slower, only, but it is only, faster. only because the light was at the end of the tunnel. There is no way <laughs> at <laughs> all that if I would have done that at like three minutes left, oh, no yeah. way. We did have a guy that he chose to do that the entire time, he didn't finish it. But he had a decent score for like a, an average gym goer. He got deep into the third round, and he jumped every single one. No, and he's really. like, I was so much faster that way. I'm like, well, not okay. everyone. <laughs> Over the top was quicker. Yes, I go. But the fact that you landed and then did like step, 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 walk around, turn around, come back, and then did your burpee, I go, you lost your your speed. So you it mean didn't matter the whole point. time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The three step step back. It's Dude, <laughs> I, I would say it was more like the four to five even. So it's like, well, that it kind of it kind of kills it. There yeah. was a there was a guy at my gym who's he's not he's not the fittest guy, but he's a bigger guy and he's a very good rower. All right, like a six thirty five two K. Okay. Wow. Like a very, very good big bigger guy. Just his body's made to row, but he's not great at like CrossFit. Mm -hmm. And he did one snatch, thirty cows on the rower. And then just whatever he could do on the step ups, and yeah. that's what he did the entire time. <laughs> what was the score? And he like one sixty, one fifty nine, one sixty. Solid dude. Yeah, and really? I mean, it wasn't a bad score at all. It was like no. the third best score at my gym. Like it wasn't like he and he beat a lot of people that were fitter than him just doing that. But he knew his strengths. I feel like it was more painful. I'll take Ooh. that all day, Barkley. All day. I love that. <laughs> no, it all yeah. this always blows up in your face though. You're like, "Oh, we do it. I'll get better." And then you don't. And you're like, "What? How do I?" But you I mean, 15 whole reps. I hope to get. If you what? don't, I'm going to never let you live it down. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to like I just need to make a bet somewhere. I always mm. do better under pressure. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. All right. We are here because we're at the halfway point of quarterfinals. 
And using our strength of field system, we had a ranking going into semi or quarterfinals for individuals, post open and post team quarterfinals. And now we're at the halfway point. We have a new strength of field score, new game spot allocations, and with two well, 24 hours less than 24 hours left in quarterfinals, we're gonna look at who's on the outside in trying to get in the top 100, try to get that extra spot, try not to lose that spot for their semifinal. And then the second half of the show, we're going to actually look at who's in, who's out of semifinals for real, right? Who's in the top 40, who's not, who's on the outside looking in. We'll take a peek at every single semifinal for men and women. We won't spend a whole lot of time on those because it's a lot of stuff, but we'll go through it. So going into, no worries, Tyler. Okay. Going into the weekend for quarterfinals, the first batch of scored events were event one, so 24.1, uh, minute of snatches, rowing, and dumbbell box step-ups, minute rest, four rounds for time. And then the other one was the one we were talking about earlier, three rounds for time, 50 wall ball shots, 50, and they say lateral burpee box jump overs. But Stupid. Just burpee box jump overs any which exactly. way you like to. <laughs> Jeez. And going into it, we had the thought of what, may or may not change for the oh hello here we go my son's in here again of course we're on a podcast there for my son what are you doing is your tooth coming out he said what are you doing pull it out over here pull it out do it live in the air on rip, air yank that thing get rip it out tooth. rip it out all right hold on captain do america it, is better than spider-man take it oh you're gonna take it no he's gotta do it Nah, it's snap not it ready. it's not ready it kind of hurts. We'll stop. You're probably playing with it at night. <laughs> yeah. Spit, turn it. Tell him to turn it. Stop playing with it. Turn it. <laughs> Just jack him in the mouth. It's going to make all your boxers ah, yeah. hard. <laughs> 10 years from now, when he's 16, I'll, the, the, it's the same thing I'm telling him, but it's just for a different reason. Right. <laughs> stop playing with it at night. We can hear you. Oh, I was, I was set on Bill. Bill, like, turn it. Turn it. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I, I pulled out his last tooth. He just lost one like last week. I pulled that one out. Anyway, all right. Um, let's go through and uh, take a peek. We've got some some recap here. So if you guys didn't miss or if you missed the earlier shows, that is not where I'm supposed to be. There we go. Um, we'll go through CrossFit Strength of Field System. So if you, if you guys have been following along this whole time, CrossFit has a strength of field system. They use two years of competition experience from the open quarters, semifinals, and CrossFit games. They give you points per competition. The points increase based off the level of competition, based off where you finish in a percentage worldwide ranking. They still let team athletes have an effect on the top 100 for individual competition. Even if you're not competing at semifinals in individual competition, you can have effect on the top 100, which we believe should not be the case because we use the open and quarterfinals only to determine the top 100. And this is CrossFit's actual top 100 before the open because they have not rescored since the open. They will rescore their top 100 after quarterfinals is over. So this is based off CrossFit's top 100 coming into the open. This is for the men. This is the distribution as well as their top 100. Semifinals get automatic spots to the CrossFit Games. North America, West, East, and Europe all get five for men and women. South America, Asia get two. Africa gets one. Oceania gets three. In our system, you get one, and then the remaining 33 are distributed based off the DeHunt method. Here for CrossFits, it's only 17 that they dish out. Top 100 cut line. This is the actual top 100 that CrossFit has right now. Nikita Vyundov out of Europe is holding at the 101. Dylan Hamming out of the East for the men is holding at 100. This is the game spots if they were to end up as they are currently for CrossFit, 10 in the West, 12 in the East, 10 in Europe. This is for the men. And the other four semifinals, as we say, don't get any extra spots with this system, and they probably never will because of the number of athletes that qualify, because the most points you get to the games, and that's the one that really determines the biggest separation in CrossFit system. On the women's side, it's 28-25, 33, between West, East, and Europe, 4-3, 4-3, from South America, Africa, Oceania, 
and Asia. This is their games qualifying positions is 10 and 10 for US, 12 in Europe, and again, for the women, no extra spots. Now let's go to our system. We use the open performance, your worldwide ranking in the open, and we add that or match that with your quarterfinals worldwide ranking, the number of points you got in the open, plus what you get in quarterfinals, and then we rank your totals from there. So we looked at the open in our previous one, so this is how it would work. In the open, Yonikoski, this is an example of current standings. He won the Open. He's currently sitting first overall in quarterfinals. Therefore, he has two points. Patrick Vellner got 10th. He's currently in fourth, and he has 14. Eighth, 10th, 18 for Jeffrey Adler. 9, 13, 22. And then you get ranked based off your place finishing in the Open, added with your place finishing in quarterfinals, and then that number is ranked worldwide. And those that's the, how the system works. Those are the only two numbers used to determine the top 100 in the world, correct? That is right. it. Your performance worldwide in the open added with your performance worldwide in quarterfinals. You get a number and then you're ranked one to 100. So it's real time performance of the year and it makes the open matter more than it's ever had in the history of the CrossFit Games and quarterfinals more than it's ever had in the history of the CrossFit Games, except for the last three days on the Savant Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. Athletes removed from the rankings. Retired athletes. If you're not in the field, you are not in the field to strengthen it. Team athletes or athletes on doping bands. These are athletes that were currently in the top 100 based off CrossFits, and now we're taking them out based off ours. This is the women. This is after... Week or submission window one. Oh my god! I'm, I'm sorry. This is actually from the open. Oh, I, I had okay. a better okay. lead, right? Okay. So this is post open. So this is after open and team quarterfinals. This is the changes on the women's top 100, based off our get with the programming system or GWTP system, one to 100. North America West women lost 15 during the open. <laughs> yeah. <tired>. The West <laughs> I mean, gained eight. Europe oh, gained nine. Tired. <laughs> just wait yeah and down down up for oceania asia still held on to three dude props to asian women man asian yeah. women are killing it <laughs> okay i mean i'm just like you look you expect the regions that you know no offense but don't matter to like go down in this system like rapidly because this is real-time performance it's not what crossfit gives you Mm -hmm. Right. You expect them to go down and you see Africa and South America that happening. But Asian women are like, no, no, no. Yeah, we're, we're good. Yeah. Like, I'm just, I mean, I'm just proud of Asian women three in the top 100. And this is what we wanted. Right. This is your opportunity to make moves because it, it will not happen in the current system. It won't. It can't. It never will unless it changes. That's the part that's so crazy. Because it, it's impossible to have, it's mm -hmm. impossible to have it. You Mathematically impossible. Games and they usually change every year, so you can't bank points. It's just not going to happen. And I know I joke around and say those regions don't matter, but like this system, this is y'all system makes like it, it with so. the programming system. Oh, this one, is yeah, the yeah. only way for y'all to have more representation at the games, yep. and it's and it's the most fair way. Nobody can argue that you didn't deserve it. Right, like it's real time performance. It's up to y'all. Yeah. It's like, you didn't earn that. I'm like, actually, I beat you in the open and quarterfinals right here. I, I did this to you guys. Yeah, <laughs> so, but last year, problem. I did blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Who but cares? at the Costa Games, I did Who this cares? with 30 friends that qualified for my semifinal. I just looked uh, up uh, the Oceana women, because that is the other way, is if the good women in Oceana register. Yes. And they didn't. They did not. No. Well, here's the thing. Like, did also Catherine, their fault. Did Bailey Rail did like the. Oh, that's a good gone, point. Gone, gone, right? Catherine right. Davis oh. daughter. Yeah. Sorry, I'm gone, skipping gone, ahead. Gone. You're good, right? All right. So, the next slide shows the change we are about to see after submission window one for quarterfinals, which was twenty four point one and twenty four point two. Before we do, John, we had some predictions of what we might think happen on this map worldwide. Would you like to uh, wager a guess of where these numbers could go from these current standings right now? I think I think West will go up a little bit. 
I think Europe will go. I think West will go up a little bit, and that's the only thing I'm going to predict. Tyler, I, don't know where, I don't know where it will come. Tyler, we got you for like five more seconds. So would you like to? <laughs> I would match. I would. I would match what John says, but then I would venture to say that that Europe goes down. I, think I don't that think Europe goes down until three and four. All right, Bill. Uh, I also would have said West goes down, but I think that Europe would have taken a handful from um, North America East. And I'm not talking like the top end. I'm talking like the, the, the bottom, bottom half of the, mm, of the 100. Yeah. Mm. I, I just, I think the two tests are, are just very cardio. We, hundred percent. You're stereotyping. I don't think you're, yeah, I am stereotyped. They're there for a reason, Tyler. Right. Like that's why <laughs> stereotypes exist. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm going to straight up say it. I've said it before. Europe's freaking fit, but they're weak. Okay. <laughs> and until that strength test hits, I don't think Europe's going down. But so you I, had Europe holding Pat. I have Europe holding Pat. It would have okay. surprised me if they go up. I have North America West going up a little bit. Okay. What about East? They're going down a little bit. All right. That's Anything what I think on the uh, South America, Africa, Asia front? Anything uh, down here? I, I don't know those people well enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the old who cares? <laughs> All right. You know who could tell you? Brian Friend could tell you. I, like, I'm willing to admit when somebody's better at something, he's better at the regions that don't matter. That true. All right. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Three, two, one. Europe went up. Five. There we go. Grace is zero. Lost three. <laughs> West lost. Oh wait, I was wrong. One. So Oceania Europe lost one. So everyone went. Everyone who went down, they all went Dumped to Europe. Into Europe. Wow. But Asia held strong, John. They did. They did. They held Dude, the Asian women. They, so they got to be. They got to be right at like where. Where are they sitting? Like who, who 50, are these three 60, people? 70? Can you tell me these three people? Got to be where they are. It's well, they have the buffer. Strong. Wow. I'll let you know, actually, because Mike Halpin and Nona Knowable gave us extra numbers now out of quarterfinals, and we'll actually get to go region by region of who's in, who's out. All right. Any surprises here, or are we a little surprised that Europe is ticking towards that 50% rate? No, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I I East Europe and West Europe is on its way, but I understand. I, 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 I'm not surprised with these numbers. Upset. Right. But not surprised. Are Americans John's call sign from Asia? No, they can't. Yeah. John's right. stereotypes are correct. I just did not expect it to, like, everybody <laughs> lose to, to Europe. <laughs> right? Yep. All right. Here we go. Let's go region to region. Oceania. Those are your women that are in the top 100 currently. And if they want an extra spot, and we'll look at game spots after this, but as it stands after submission window one, Erica Pulaski, Ella Price, Georgia Farrow, right? All these have a shot. 138, 138, Daisy McDonald, Madeline Schelling, Emily Clements. You've got six women there, and we know it's about three to four that get you an extra spot, unless you already have those two or three, and you just need that one, mm -hmm. right? It's not three from this list have to make it. We don't know exactly, but based off three, three. Okay, so you got seven. Maybe you just need Erica. <laughs> if yeah. Erica gets in the top 100, you got that extra spot that you've been clamoring for for years. Isn't it like three and a half per person? Yeah, well, three to four. Just About, yeah. They, they don't have half people. Right, but like, you know, if you're on that cusp, it could be yes. one or it could be two. Exactly. It could be one that gets you an extra one. Uh, Asia, Sahar Kaya, Sung Young Choi, and Duan Zhang. Oh, three. Oh, it's uh, Dewan Jung. Yeah. It's my... John Young in Asian. <laughs> if I was an Asian <laughs> woman. Remember her from the first one we did? Listen, guys, and let, realistically, it's probably the only way I'm making the games is to be an Asian woman. <laughs> yeah. By Dewan we can make well, that happen, you know, John. Uh, their only shot of getting one extra. Evie. Evie. Evie Hollis, wherever you're at, you got 24 hours. <laughs> Gymnastics and strong. Get it in now. Yeah, hopefully, crazy. Evie's a specialist. Right. In <laughs> She's good. has massive shoulders. Massive shoulders. Out. South America. The clothes we have. Victoria Campos and Julia Cato. 160 and 161. Gosh. Let me say this. I'm usually really hard on Asia. I would be embarrassed if I were South America. <laughs> you aren't even earning your one spot. Two spots. 
Your two spots. Right. right. Come on, bro. You get two spots and none of them are in the top 100. Are you not in the race for Africa? Well, let's let's see. <laughs> Africa, 190. Jim Raider. Why, why not even close, Liv- dude? Wow. Livetakis. They're like a whole hundred spots away from their one yeah. spot. Oof. I yeah. don't know why, but I expect more out of South America. I guess that's a stereotype of mine. Right. Well, I mean, you're you're you are saying it because you think more highly of them. So I do. I they the they thing. think more highly of the sport. And true. so I, I they are passionate. Hear that all That's the time. fair. They all. I do feel South America is very passionate about. Crime. Here's the fun part: North America West, who is just bleeding women to the top 100 right now. <laughs> Look how close they are. Kyra Milligan, 102. Alex DeMar- DeGarmo, 105. Danny Spiegel, 110. Trista Smith, 18. Hattie Kano, 120. Sydney Mikulishin, 122. Lauren Merrill, 131. Devin Kim, 136. All of them are fit enough to, in the, especially what we have coming, because this is a part of the conversation. We have the massive gymnastics test and the weightlifting test coming up. Man, dude, Olivia Kerstetter at 97, right on the cusp. Yeah, you know Kurt, she'll do good on the strength lift. Workouts. But yeah. the gymnastic one? That's a good point. This, Abby, I mean, this, Abby this Dome is not post-quarterfinals one and two, right? Is it? It is. Yeah. Dude, I don't like oh. this for Olivia Kerstetter. I don't think she's going to make the games, guys. <laughs> well, we still got to get the semifinals. No, <laughs> no, I know. I'm just saying, like, these are two fitness tests. They're very fitnessy, right? Like, you're mm-hmm. in, like, lungs. How fit are you? Yeah. Um, and for her to be 97th across the board on this, I just, I know, I, think, I know this is not that show, but well, no, it's all right. I think is, she's got a 50 but, 50 coming up with these next two, right? Okay. She's proud. She won the, she won 24.1 worldwide. Yeah. She'll be great at 24.4 and just be great at 24.3. Right. Yeah. Right. She's all right. Waterpalooza 24.3 ain't going well. Yeah. Probably. Well, that's what, that's why I wonder is it almost a wash between these two? the next two you know what i mean like and she's at 97 so she's the gatekeeper for the most part um that'll be it's that'll be interesting i mean it shocks dude shocks me that she won 24.1 shocks me i would not have put her in my top no way to win that no way no way i mean seeing it now i'm like okay but even then i was like i'm surprised someone else didn't Yeah. yeah So what's right. what's nuts? If I'm understanding that right, that's the those are the athletes going to send. Like that would be the athlete pool. That would be the numbers models. to get the to get the athlete. These this are is, the numbers out of the hundred. This is the top one hundred numbers right now. So right, but that would be the roster that. going to semifinals for the West. True, true. Yes, all of these will be in semifinals. And so I don't like. Well, I gotta push not all of them. Not all. Well, of them. Yeah, yeah, there's more, but well, well so I'll say this. This is getting ahead, but we're going to look at who's in, who's out. Spiegel's sitting at 110 in the top 100, and she is not in semifinal qualifying position right now in the mm-hmm. West. Oh, okay, because the open weights. Got it. Right. Yes, because the open is part of this. Right. Right. <clears throat> All right. The East, they had too the, many. The open matters in the system, Tyler. Yeah. yeah they, yeah. they had too many to list that were in the top 100, so we just put the ones that were in the hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jamie Latimer is 103 in this system. Bonkers. That's wow. pretty awesome. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. She did kill her in the open, though. Yes. Yeah. Jamie Latter at 103. Brianna Stelmer, 104. Mary Helen Saunders, 106. Sydney Wells, 108. Rachel Fricker, 112. Dana Paran, 113. Look at this 13, 16, 17, 18, 21. How close was the West? 102. Okay, pretty close. But man, the East. They could still get more. They just lost a couple. Yeah. Uh, then let's look at Europe. Even more women in the hunt. <laughs> Jeez. They have 48 currently in the top 100 in our system. Where is uh, where's Miriam? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think she's not. She's, she's, a, she's yeah. in, right? Inside. She's in, inside. Yeah, she's inside. Inside. inside the 100. Yeah. I wonder where she would be like overall in the rankings. Yeah, that's what I'm at. That's what I'm curious. Uh, I don't about. know. Yeah. Uh, Rebecca Vittison, she's outside. Top 100. Norte Bleeker. I know, I just say that because I've said her name. Amelia Lampinen. 
Still got it. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Cut line for the women. Here's what's important. With 24 hours left in quarterfinals, one last chance to get spots to the CrossFit Games in the GWTP system. Rose Scott, Lydia Fish, Lena Richter, Olivia Kirkstetter, Brittany Weiss, sitting in 96 through 100, are all on the inside of that cut line. Mari Raven out of Europe, Kira Milligan, Jamie Latimer, Brianna Stelmer, and Alex DeGarmo. Two out of the West that the West desperately needs. On the Roe outside looking safe. in. Roe is safe with these next two workouts. Yeah, sure. probably. Yeah. So East. Lydia, maybe. Lydia Lydia should have a top score in the third one. Was Lydia at crash? Not on the fourth one. Yeah, Yeah, she got second to to Lindsay. Uh, And would have won regular scoring. She lost to Lindsay on Z score. Mm -hmm. No, but it was still close. It was no, no. I know. I'm just that's my point. If if one wins one way and one wins the other way, that's how close it was. I'm not saying she didn't win, Tyler. Yeah, Lena Rector is team. So even if we took her out, which she She should be, we replaced with another European. So. Unchanged. All right. This is the game spots post open and team quarterfinals. So we this is post open team quarterfinals. So this is before we show you guys what the new numbers are after submission window one. North America West lost five after the open. East gained two. Europe gained four. South America lost their one, which we see why. They only get the one that we gave them. Africa won, Asia got their two. They got their two, Oceania sits at three. Here is the change. North America East lost one, Europe gained one, and across the board after that, no change. So officially now, there should just be one North America and East Europe and West Europe. (laughs) So now, yes, Europe has 17 qualifying positions and the East has 11. And Tyler, we actually said this when we finished the, I think this is actually like week one of the Open. But Europe, in this system, using the Open and quarterfinals, has 48 women in the top 100. Eight of those women won't make semifinals. And they're in the top, <laughs> in the top, top 100, 100 in, the in the world. In the world. Which is why, like, if you have that many. Bro. Right? This is a problem. Isn't this? Right? Because, because these, this, these are real numbers, right? This isn't this the is system real time we're using, but this is real performance metrics. Europe went, European women have 48. Now, we still have two more workouts where a lot can change, and we'll talk about that. But as it stands now, they have 48 women in the top 100. 40 of them get to go to semifinals. Now half the field goes to the games, True. so like it is yeah. unfair they, for people that make semifinals. If you but get like, 75 or seventeen qualifying spots, you know half the field makes it. Like Sarah Sigmund's daughter makes it to the games with this. That is true. Yeah, that's right. She was sixteenth last year. Mm-hmm. I just uh, started thinking happened. logistically, like so. You know, we know it's going to be hard for 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 CrossFit to adopt the system just because they don't love adopting anything. Yeah, but. That this right here is the case. Like that's, this is like breaking Europe into East and West based on this. I I like that argument. The problem is, is it the same for the men? Because then you have to think about East. Like we can't run an East and West semifinal for for the women, men. not the men. Right. Right. So yeah, that would be crazy. Um. Well, the- I don't think you would. I think. That, that's just me joking around with the East and West Europe thing. I think if it cracks 50% for either one of them, then you then you would do it. But uh, like if there was 20 spots to the games, right? And there's like mm-hmm. you know, however, or 50 out of the top 100. Um, and then just live with the smaller region. If it like for the men, just live with right. it. Right, right. Well, and we talked about if they didn't split it, then you're right. It's like they're not taking just you know, four or five to the games, they're going to be taking how many? If they did just Europe, they would be taking 18. So 18. Uh, 17. 17. I, I went down to 18 because there's a DQ up there. So like, oh, this is got it, got last it. year's semifinals, if they okay. had 17 qualifying spots. So even 17. So you have everybody going to compete and all you got to do is play 17th to make it to the games if you make it to semis. <laughs> so it's like that weird place of like, 
depending we probably split depending this. what athlete you depending what type of athlete you are do you want to be the one that gets to be able to go in because of all of the massive pool or you want to be the athlete that i'm going to do really well so i i can get I can help our region get more spots, but I won't be able to make it. I'm in the top 100 in the world, but I won't be able to make but, it. And and also, and I really believe this, and I don't know, it, I might be in the minority on this. I think if this system was the system, America would try harder in the open. Yes. like and I, and I don't think that's happening. I think there are more North Americans trying not as hard as Europe. I agree. And, and that's creating this. And I'm not saying Europe wouldn't be like the most sure they might be but instead of 48 it would be 35 why, yeah, why, sure do, why do you that. why do you think that they're the u.s that the america's not say it. all the trying. Can't because say it. at the games they're they're all fitter like the in European the open in the, open. in the open in the open right okay i was yeah. like that's not happening in quarterfinals no, there, <laughs> right. no, no there are women there are women in europe that are placed that place higher in the open that would place lower at the games. And we've had years on years on years of evidence of this. Mm -hmm. For instance, Andrea Solberg, you know what I mean? Like she's never even made it to the games. And hey, I think this could be the year, by the way. I think Right, no, right. and sure, it might be the year. And then she'll do good in a gymnastics workout and suck everywhere else, right? <laughs> because that's the truth. I'm sorry, it's the hard truth. That's, what, that's what's going to happen. And I just think there, it's, there are more okay. women in Europe that try in the open than North America. And I'm just still, Europe would still be the highest one. I'm not taking away from that. They would, it just wouldn't be this. So here, here's now. an example uh, of try harder. Hang on. Bill. Is that East lost their one spot because right. the uh, quarterfinals and the open. I'm pretty sure if they had a chance for 12, Annika Greer would be calling up all these people. And is like, I do not want to miss out on one spot again that we just lost. Because mm -hmm. she would have been that twelfth place finisher from semifinals last year. That I mean, I, I love the idea of that. I don't know if they would or not, and I and I I don't disagree with what you're saying about who's trying harder. I don't personally. I think that it's not that they do or do don't try Mary harder. I think it, I think it's a type world. of events. I think it's a yeah. type of events. You know what I mean? Yes. And yes, <laughs> you see you see what I'm saying? Like I, that's what I mean. Mirham von Rohr is not the fittest woman in the world. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. She currently is, like as far as performance, right? Wise. In the open, right? And quarterfinals, she's ninth right now. If you did the math, she was first in the open and ninth in quarterfinals. I think right now she's probably number one or number two. But Barclay, what I think it would be, think it's, do you point. think it's a style of events? I think what it would be in North, like if they, if legitimately this was the system, I bet it would end up like Europe fourteen, North America West seven, North America East eleven. And then maybe one more spot on Oceania or North America East 12. And then Oceania has four. Mm. And then that's what it would be. That's, and I think there wouldn't be this hard of a split that way. I think it's fine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. All, All right. right, boys, I got to go. I, Thank you, I, Tyler. I Later, Tyler. Anyway. Thank See you for you. extending Thank your time you. with us. Yeah. You are indeed awesome. No, you're awesome. Thank you guys. Thank, and thanks for all your work this week, bro. That no. was fantastic. Yes, Heat One was awesome. It it would mean nothing if you guys weren't there commentating on the other end. It that makes it all, all the all the excitement comes from you guys. So I appreciate that. Thank you. That's awesome. I love how Thank um, you, dude. See you, how, how the guys in Taylor versus the world spoiled a lot of a lot of picks. Because <laughs> yeah. um nobody's picking Hopper to win second and Colton to win second on the barbell yeah. one. Like it was just a lot of mixture. I, Will, you I, are I, a lightsaber this I week. I got yeah. crushed. On the heat one, I, heat, I don't. I, I looked at my heat one app and I'm like, did I forget to make picks? <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, it's only for first and second. So, like, if you know, did right. not get that right, like, <laughs> like you had no points at all. Picks? Right. <laughs> I, I have yeah. a lot of those. That's why I told Jason. I'm like, you messed up my entire. I, I'm not a big gambling guy, so like, I don't, I don't do a lot of that stuff, and I just don't understand it a lot of times. So I got all excited. I put my picks. I'm like, yeah, and then Jason messed it all up for him for me. I'm like, thanks a lot, dude. Take your five thousand dollars. You messed up my whole That's betting experience. Well, I, I, I think I had three events where my first and second ended up second and first. Uh, and mm -hmm. you get no points for the, like that. Yeah. You know, I got nothing right there, yeah. and they were just swapped. Yeah, I got nothing a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I swear, I was on the show, on Savan's show, picking these things, and I, I'm in like the last spot on the leaderboard. It's terrible. Uh, before we get to the men, 
If you guys want to use the code GWT15 at element26.co, everything you guys want for your CrossFit accessory needs, just uh, thank you to Element26, who's been a big partner of the show and uh, helping us run these things for their Inside the Leaderboard content and uh, really appreciate them. So scan that code or go to element26.co, use the code GWTTP15 for 15% off your next PR. Okay, it is the men's turn now as we just went through the women's in our top 100 athletes removed from our ranking systems. Because in this system, we're looking at the strength of field for semifinals and the strength of field should be the in-person competition, not people who did good and are not competing. They are not in the field, therefore they cannot strengthen it. And that goes for team athletes specifically. And these are 100 or athletes that were currently in CrossFit's top 100 that we removed from our ranking. Sorry, our uh, our open ranking. And this is post team quarterfinals. This was after the open, and after the open, the West lost seven. East, uh, so, ooh, oh, almost screwed it up right there. <laughs> The East held at 32. Europe gained 11 after the oh, Open. Geez. Asia lost three. Africa lost their three. South America went up. So the dudes are holding strong after the Open. Oceania sitting at four. John, I'll come to you again. We did the same thing for the women. This is post-Open. Knowing what we had for quarterfinals in the first two events, where do we think the moving and shaking is going to go for the men? after the first submission window? I think it's going to be exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the same as you thought or what it actually was? No, what it is right now, I don't think it will shift very much at all. Oh, so no, it was very I, like like Like, like maybe two or three. Okay. But like I, I, for the most part, exactly as it is right now. Okay. Bill? Um, I don't think it'll be exactly the same. I think North America East will come up a bit, um, pulling from Europe, but I think North America West will hold about the same. All right. Well, let's see. This is after the first submission window for quarterfinals for 24.1 and 24.2, along with the open Ooh. and a lot more moving <laughs> Jeez. than not we did not by a ton. Not by a time, but in more places. East yes. lost five. They're down to 27. North America lost one. They're now in the teens. Dang. Europe gained four. South America lost three. O Asia gained one in the top 100. And Oceania gained four for the men. So the men actually have more in the top 100 than the women. The women had seven after submission window one for quarterfinals. So 42 for Europe. The women had 48, Oceania 8 to their 7 between men and women. South America had 6, but now 3, still more than 0. But yeah, there. hey, Asian men on the board. So let's go region to region, see where everybody's at. Oceania, very close on the outside. Look, Steven Mishuski, 101 on our leaderboard. You just need one. Maybe. They've got eight. Could yeah. be the one. Josh Domersons or Domerness. Domersness. 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 Where's Josh E.D.? I, I told, uh, <laughs> I told uh, Jeremy Austin needs to get on this show and tell us how to say these names. <laughs> we would, and have, we would have understand them. Uh, but four men on the outside looking in with 24 hours left in quarterfinals. So. They've got a couple options in there to get him in there. But look at the who's in the Zach Thomas is all right. Uh, Lackland Park, Thor Hagnall. That's a name. It's a cool name. Luke DeJong, Bailey O'Brien. I feel like I feel like half of these names are not in the right country. Should not be. <laughs> I was going to say, it's like, <laughs> you're in the wrong region, Zach man. Thomas, Bailey okay. O'Brien. Yeah. Thor Hagnall is like, no, that's or Hong Hong Yall. It's. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Luke DeJong. Okay. It's not Icelandic because there's not a sun on the end. No, but it definitely is not Australian. <laughs> Very European. Very European. Very All right, European. let's tick over to Asia. Greenland. Anton Yokovlev. 
sitting in 76th. Outside in the hunt, Mahmoud Shalan, who's been a very competitive athlete in the UAE for a long time. Yeah. Morteza Segenhat. Sedagat. Sedagat. All right. Where's Where's Haynes? Is he a team athlete or not know. competing this year? Maybe he didn't have a good open. I wouldn't. I think they'd be pretty good for him. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's going team, but he's not here. All right, South American men. Jao Pedro Barcelos. Oh, I hate well, that he's at 98. Well, I make know. a decision. <laughs> be fit or don't be. Yeah, the- yeah <laughs> just flirts with that line. Holding huh? on by his claws at 98. And then Omar Martinez at 105. I mean, they got a few guys that are in striking distance. Juan Ignacio Sforzini. Kaike Servine, 138. Marcus Morea. Moriera, Benjamin Gutierrez. I mean, they've got six guys within 40 spots. We're talking about worldwide competition. That's not a lot. 40 spots is not a lot. Specifically because, like, if the events were reversed, I'm like, all right, not a lot's going to change. If it was 24.1 and 24.2 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. left. Correct, yes. 24.3 right. and 24.4, none of this is sacred. It's going to flip a lot. Like, he <laughs> should be of it. much higher after these next two, because he, he's going to be great at the next two events. Right. Lance, what is so hard about saying my name? <laughs> I got him chasing him is commenting on someone else's name. Yes. I, I don't think you have a hard name, Chase. No. Although I would say in Little League, the announcers seem to have trouble with saying my last Chase name. Chase Ingraham. Ingraham. Yep. That was pretty much standard. It was one or the other. It's not that hard. Um, all right. Next region. Africa, zero. Kalen Henry, Kalem Diebel, 157, 181. Still a chance for Keelan. They get their one spot. They get one spot from us. Cross it gives them one spot. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what? That's exactly what that deserves. Get back. And right. 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 Uh, North America West, they've got 19 men in. Holding on there in Look those Bill. low 90s. Where is he? Uh, 55th. Oh, there he is. Old Bill Leahy, 55. Sitting there in the top 100. Uh, we've got outside looking in, Rafael Santon. Yeah, he, he's got a decent chance. He's a local guy around he here. He should be good at workout three, really good at workout three. Yeah, he's, he's, he's good at gymnastics. I think that'll be a good one. And he's not bad strength-wise. I, I mean, and that with that weight, He'll be able to do all right on that. And you have Chris Ibarra at 112, Maximilian Craig, 116, Mike Evans, 120, Tucker Mecklemore. Sorry, Mecklemore. He's uh he's local here, actually. He's been he's been to the regionals and semifinals a lot. Alessandro Zanet and Brian Hunk. Well, uh did Hunk. um Hunk. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> huh. But all within 50. I think it's win. No, that's not win. Yeah. No. That's how you say win, man. No. Win is like N G Y U E N or something like oh, that. Oh, dude. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> that's the only win I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is it Nig win? You no, I do. I think it's, there's just different ways to it's say another win. win. There's yeah. another weird win. Yeah. All right, yeah, man. <laughs> I think so. I says it's pronounced win. All right. <sighs> Win, <laughs> cool whip, <laughs> cool whip. Thank you, Judy. I need we got conflicting, answer. conflicting. Uh, All right. Well, you have your win, and I've got my win. Yeah, win, win. You have your huh? It's a win, win. I've got my yeah. I've got my hunya, and you've got your <laughs> nguyen. <Nguyen-yun. laughs> They're both win. God, we're hey, you know, Ingraham got it. All right, East. Uh, too many to list, so we'll just do the ones in the hunt. Kevin Steinhouse, 101. Garrett Clark, 103. Jacob Pfaff, 107. Josh Felix, 110. Damian Canciatore, 111. RJ Mestre, 116. Teen athlete. Teen yep. champ. Stud. Was he a teen champ? Yeah. I think so, times. yeah. What were they saying last night? Kids champ? <laughs> Kitty champ? Kid, dude. <laughs> I was like, guys, come on. <laughs> the way they titled everything, I'm like, really? 
Yeah, this, really? is making, this is awkward. This is awkward. Uh, Stephen Clegg, 123. Brett Hosney, 125. Oh, look at this guy. Taylor. Yeah, he's an up-and-comer. New kid on the block. <laughs> Never heard of this guy. Uh, come out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Never heard of him. Uh, this Taylor Self. Looks like another uh, 128. Looks like a what? <laughs> Looks like <laughs> Looks like a <laughs> <easy. laughs> I'm glad I was talking over that. Uh, Hank, <laughs> Hank Rinda, <laughs> 113. I think they treated gingers just as poorly. Uh, Derek Aldenor, 133. Noah Wilson, 137. And Brad Wilson, 138. Are you guys brothers? That would be cool. Are you twins? That'd be cool. That would be, be cool. so awesome. That'd be a win. That'd be another win win. A win. A win. Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, just be happy we're saying your name. Even if I say it wrong. There's 363 people watching. This is fantastic. You guys are awesome. Uh, let's go to Europe. 19 in the hunt, 42 in the top 100. Man. Wow. Mund Adrian yeah. Mundweiler. Oh, wow. Hanging around. Hey, hey, look at that. 127. Oh, this Dude, thing. 142 is a monster. Rezegors. He lifts a ton. 24.4. He did amazing. Yeah. I America guarantee. Witch or whatever. God, I, I kept saying his name. I, the, when I was going through these like really fast in like a heat of 20, I came to this one and immediately was like <laughs> froze. Check, <laughs> yeah. check oars, Maraskinovic. Yeah. That's when you that's when you go, I'm gonna call you Greg. Yeah, you're Greg. <laughs> you're now Greg M from now on. M Dog. Just out there. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody want to give it a shot? I, look, a shot? I just said it. Oh, what was it? Uh uh, Cheggers Maraskinovics. Maraskinovich. All right. Sure. Cheggers? Yeah, the, Cheggers? the GRZ, right. man. It's a ch. It's a it sounds like right. a win it for me. It can't be dude. a Greg. A win. Bill, you want to? Yeah. I'm just no. going to say Greg's Egor's win. You know, this could be the. Yep. <laughs> this could be the. I like M Dog. I could not. I would, <laughs> I would laugh so hard if he was out on the field and like he like jumped up to the rings. And M Dog jumping up on the ring, <laughs> <laughs> making a move. M Dog making a move on the outside. You, just, you, sir, with your 17 consonants in your last name, got yourself a nickname already. M Dog. If you ever make it, please uh, reach out to somebody and tell us how to say your name. Yes, I think hey, they have. What's 115? 115. Oh yeah, that's a. There's like a asterisk something here. And and that's why it comes out. No, it just the font being used. It's a decided to give it a uh, check mark. Oh, it's oh. Nagar. Eric Hap Hapalainen. Yeah. All right. Top one hundred cut line based off our GWTP system, using the open quarterfinal submission one to one, taking out all the team retired athletes out of competition. Jacob Schmidt out of North America West, Noah Miles, Europe, Gima Harros, 98, South America, Alexander Blaschk, Europe, and Peter Mason out of the East. So we got representatives from everybody but two Europeans. Outside looking in, Steven Mashuski out of Oceania, Kevin Steinhaus out of the East, Garrett Clark East, Raphael Sankson West, Omar Martinez, South America. This is the game spots after the open and team quarterfinals athletes removed from our top 100 system. West dropped to seven. North America East held at 12. South America got the extra one. Africa one, Asia one, Oceania two, lost one after the open. Europe gained four. Here is the current game qualifying spots at the halfway point of quarterfinals with 24 hours left to go, North America East lost two spots. They are now at 10. South America lost their one. They're now at two. Oceania got one back, and they're at three. And Europe bumped up to 16 qualifying spots for their semifinal. If we look at what that impact could have been, if we look at semifinals specifically, we'll go to the East for the men. In this system, they had 10. 
And if it was all things were last year, guess who is going to be heartbroken sitting in 11th place? Oh, my wow. goodness. Wow. And Spencer Pancheck. Sprague would have missed again by one spot. He did not last year, but if we're looking at the results from last year, Jack Farlow gets that 10th and final position that the East currently has, and James Sprague is on the outside looking in on the impact there. Let's take a look at the West. West for the men gets seven qualifying spots. Saying that we had last time, if we look at who's in seventh, Nick Colton Matthew, Martin. and then yeah. Colton. God, this just can't get Colton Merton <laughs> above that damn seven cut line. <laughs> it's been like this since, since we did this for fun back in December for 2023. It's so okay. It'll, it'll change. It'll, yeah. You know, we, we, we got some changes here. No, so, I said that in December, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, South, America, <laughs> yeah. South America lost their one. We know Gima Harris was third, so he was in a spot after the Open, but now lost that spot based off the first submission window of quarterfinals. Oceania, no change. They get the three that they had there. Uh, but let's go to the European men for this semifinal. I think Victor Hoffer... Gets in. Oh, Victor Hoffer might get in. Let's see this. What do we got it's here? It's Colin Bosch- Bossard and Victor uh, Hoffer. Bouchard? It's Bouchard? Yeah, I about did it. Uh, I about did it. Colin Bossard <laughs> and Victor Hoffer, I believe. Right. So they're at 16. Wow. So they had 11. That was the last oh, man oh, in oh, last oh, year. Oh Fabian Benito. Colin Bossard gets in. Victor Hoffer gets in. Luca Vunyak gets in. Alex Katulis gets in. And Antoine Dumain gets in. Oh, I, I, guys, this is upsetting. <laughs> and then there's Enrico Zanoni, who is Listen, just... Luca Bunyik, Alex Catulis, and Antoine Dumain. I'm sure you guys are great guys. You cannot tie Colton Merton's shoes. Okay. <laughs> Actually, if anybody could tie Colton Merton's shoes, but I get what you're saying. <laughs> That's yeah, 16. Rough. Rough, yeah. And, and that's the fun part, too, is like, look who's out and look who's in. By the way, the, I know the guys were talking about Enrico Zanoni last night. Um, Enrico Zanoni, to me, is like the European street horner as far as like... Um, uh, pretty boy? Pretty boy, yeah. yeah. And I mean that with all endearment. I wish I looked like street horner. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had 80% of what that physique could look like. Yeah, and I feel no, like Enrico no. Zanoni is the same thing, just a He's spell. sculpted. He's pretty. Dude. Yeah. Now it's not like like a man, oh, like a manly man, but like he's pretty. Yeah. I, I don't think my wife would argue uh, if I came home looking like that one day. <laughs> I've gotten the same comments about Victor Hoffer too. He's a very finessey look. I, he has more feminine features, but maybe it's just the long hair. Maybe. I think it's definitely part of the long hair, but that was I a think unique it, I think word it, it, that you used there, John. The Nessie look. look. You, like, you like that? The Nessie. And you even did the <laughs> like, hair wave There's not like a, a brute. There's it's like the opposite of a brute look, you know? <laughs> uh, Augusta, show muscles or go muscles? I'm in the show muscle phase of my life. Um, I wouldn't it's not bad to have a little show. Yeah, but you know, I'm going to be able to go also. This is interesting. Do you? And I don't know how to take this. (laughs) Chase, you were a pretty. (laughs) (laughs) Do you think? Do you think you look uh, fitter than you are, or you look as fit as you are, or you are fitter than you look? Ooh, that's a great question. Because I feel like I prob I probably look fitter than I am. I think I look as fit as I am right now. Bill, I think you're fitter than you look. Uh, Bill. Yeah. I don't know if I like. I don't know if I like hearing that. Bill's <laughs> <really. laughs> like, like, I'm trying to digest what you just. <laughs> me at the moment. Uh, I don't. I, I don't probably. Like- I probably am a little fitter than I look. I don't think I look like I'm not fit, but I think that. Uh, That's not what I'm saying. It's not. No, no. I got you. I got you. I, I guess I wouldn't disagree with that. I wouldn't disagree with that. Mm. We're all three. Ends of the spectrum. Totally. Yeah, I look at myself in videos. I'm like, yep, that looks like my that looks what that can do. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I got some room to grow or, or not or ungrow. 
I'm just going to hang on to whatever I have for as long as I can, dude. That's yeah, that's, that's my goal. Um, all right, let's take a look at some of the semifinals. So we're halfway through. We're qualifying people to um, semifinals. So before we close out, thank you guys for hanging with us. We're just at the hour mark. We'll try to wrap this up pretty quick. But uh, let's see. This is the... We'll take a look at the 40 because this is this is real. This is the real deal. This is what's happening. This is the Asia men. You've got a tie for 40th place with 101. Hmm. They're taking 40. You've got Kang Kyungsin. I think I got that right. Unless it's Win. <laughs> <laughs> and then the so one you're thinking of is Vietnamese, and they have more than one what? country. The one, the N G U Y E N. That's, that's Vietnamese. That. Are you are you a linguist, John? I'm Viet- pretty good Vietnamese. with foreign names. I, I I was in the foreign the international dorm in college, and all of my friends were different countries. Um, huh. Okay. Say like, Vietnamese one more time, please. Vietnamese. <laughs> How do you get the win, but you say Viet Manis? Viet Manis? You say, you're probably one of those guys that say sandwich. No, I don't. Or sandwich. <laughs> do, you, do you say it's like, man, back in the days in mom? No. No, I've never been to mom, so I don't know. I don't know what that would be. But or nom. I do say I, I, have, um, I have said specific before for Pacific. Mm, yeah, we've all made that mistake. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Pischetti. Pischetti. I do that a lot. I'll, I'll try to talk too fast and just get through it. And yeah, but most by yeah. most of my uh, friends though were like from South Korea and Arabic regions. Okay. So let me see. Which one is this? This is oh, this is yeah, this is Asia as well. Uh for the women, we have another tied 40th. Anastasia geez. Kazakina, 95. Nargish Basir Yadzi. Yazdi? That's a rough one. I've never Bassier been there. Y- Basir Yazdi. I feel like that's pretty close. Oh, it's a Yazdi. Yeah, she's from Iran, so we might need to change the uh, accent. Oh, I can there. only see the green, white, and red. I can't <laughs> see what direction it's in. It's different. It's... <laughs> this is great. This is this is so much better than saying the R word. <laughs> yes, and flags. <laughs> Make it up our own accents. How to say people's last names. All right, let's go to Africa. Holding on to 40th place for the men. Anthony Rousseau. That one's easy. 99 points out of South Africa. Oh, look at this last name. Henny Terra Blanche. Terra Blanche. You Terra Blanche. Terra Blanche. That, it's, like a, it's like over a terabyte, right? It's like. I think we should come up with like jobs for Ooh. these people. This is that will get us canceled <laughs> <laughs> for sure. What country is she from? Cleaning lady. You're like what? No, That's by all- their names, not where they're from. Oh, okay. That's a little better. I, I don't know if that is better. All right, for the women, Elizan Goosen, ninety points, but ninety one, ninety three, ninety three, ninety five, ninety eight. So close. Hang in there, Carrie. You're so close. 87, 85, 83, 81. Like it could all just flip. Flip flop. It is. And with again the next two events, who knows? Uh, let's go to South America. Where's Guy? I heard he's in like where is he? 19th, I think. 19th? Oh yeah, there he is. 20th. 20th. Tied for 20th. Who is oh, it's a tie for 39th. Geronimo, hell yeah. That's a great name. Look at that. Yeah, he's a farmer. Geronimo Boudin. Boudin. Geronimo Boudin. What an awesome name. Marcus Alvis. All right. Luciano <laughs> Sousa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you read Marcus Alvis. All right. Like- that's, that's an accountant. That's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> if I get a text from Rosa, we're good. But if I get a text from anybody else, <laughs> white earth. Oh, Whoa, DEI. Uh, this is actually the complete opposite of DEI because we're going through everyone. Thank you. This is, this is nothing but DEI. We're just diversifying our ways to try to say names that we're, oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, you guys can't see this yet. Three-way tie for 40th place in, for the South American women. Wow. 
Wow. Oh, my God. Augustina Alta Maria Murano. Look, and then 38, the tied for 38, and it's one oh, point below. Oh. You have five oh. people virtually tied. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Ooh, here's one. Bruna Baxix? Baxix? Back six. Back six. Anybody? Anybody? Equis? <laughs> Maxix? Bashish? Bashish? No. Maybe. Maybe it's win. Any name I don't know now, <laughs> it's it's automatically win. Totally. Um, uh, that's it from now on. I can't believe you've never seen, seen it like that. No, I haven't. Larissa Tremontan. Are y'all drunk? No, we're just having fun. She's a chiropractor. Larissa? Larissa? I Larissa? Think Larissa's a chiropractor? I don't know. <laughs> Here, I think it's Bill's job to come up with the jobs. Thank God. We're getting... <laughs> oh, we're making up. Sorry. Yeah, I forgot about the game. I forgot about the game. <laughs> Uh, Europe, uh, sorry, Australia, uh, Oceania men. Look at, look at who's in 39th place. Good old Robert Forte. Rob Forte, 37. Beast. Just sitting there. Ben Garrard. Oh, Benny. A bunch of old men. Dude. How wild would it be if, uh, if Ben was back in action with Ricky? At That'd Central. be awesome. That would be pretty cool. And Every you day. know, he'll get a semifinal event that he'll crush because Ben was all, he was always a, yeah. He had one event that he would one, just kill everybody. Home run in. hitter. Yeah. All right, Jordan Sherwood. What does he do? Oh, that's that's an accountant. I was going to say uh, insurance. Uh, sorry, like, like State Farm. We, I think I think Augustus is in the chat, right? He's a CPA too. Maybe, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe real estate. Jordan Sherwood, CPA. Jordan Augustus. Sherwood sounds like a good real estate name. Sherwood Ventures. Yeah. Right. Uh, hey, this is my uh, State Farm agent, Jordan Sherwood. Jordan Sherwood. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who's the Who is the guy that sponsors Shut Up and Scribble? I, don't know. Uh, I can never remember Night the agent. The, yeah, I know who you're talking name, about. I'm I can't like, remember the name. Checks. That checks. That checks out. That name. It's like Michael something. Michael very white. Uh, women, Oceania. Charlotte Baldwin. Ooh. Hmm. The daughter who fled Alec Baldwin and ran to Australia to escape his clutches. Rising actress, 21 years old from fitness. Yeah, I like that. Charlotte Baldwin's a, a phlebotomist. Phlebotomist. <laughs> phlebotomist? I like the rising actress. Charlotte Baldwin feels very. A phlebotomist. Yeah, she, she takes blood for a living and she's oh, training yeah. to be a nurse. Eater. So, you know, I, it will be I see nurse. Way more actress than nurse. Although Olivia Smoothie feels like an actress too. Yeah, it's a different kind of actor. I like that. I like everyone else is starting to play the game now. <laughs> Peter, Peter Mitrovich. Miss Mistovich, or is it Patrick? This is the accountant dude for uh, Jake Felton says she's an author. All right, mm -hmm. author I like Charlotte Baldwin. Yeah, that'd author. be a good author. Be an author. Yeah, yeah maybe right. like children's books. Mm -hmm. Monique or, Sims. Yeah. What about Monique Sims? Uh, Monique Sims, uh, yoga instructor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. All right. Yes. No, that's an art teacher. Monique Sims. Monique Sims. I was gonna say a palm, a palm reader. Okay. Trade crafts. Yeah, like a, like a hippie, kind of like a yeah. hippie art teacher. Yeah. Okay, kids, today we're gonna paint bowls of fruit. I really hey, look who our judge was. Melanie, good night. That is a great look, <laughs> look wow. who uh look who Monique's judge was. Who? Look, look at there. What does that say? I'm on a different page now. Uh oh! Hey, it's everywhere. Fuck win. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all thought I was being crass. I no, don't. no, I don't know. I'm not even gonna try. That's all you, brother. Uh. <laughs> yep, it is. It's definitely it. that. Oh, I think my wife just texted me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh. All right. I'll try to do better. All right, where am I? Here we go. Uh, this is the North America West men. 40th place, Gabriel Townsend. Holding on. 
Uh, who? Who? Uh, this is where I want to look like. Who's? Is this the West? Yeah. Is it? John Anybody? Wood. Jacob Marlowe. Yeah. Um. That's about it for names that I know. So I feel like there's some guys on this other page that might have been on the outside looking in. No, Austin Evans. I feel like I know that name. Chase Smith. Chase Smith. Louise Oscar. Oh, Moore. there it is. Lewis. There's yeah. one. Louise Oscar Moore, seventy third. He uh, blew up like Taylor <laughs> did. Yeah, worse. I don't know anybody did worse than Taylor on that one. I mean, obviously I did. But <laughs> well, how do you think Luis makes a move on uh, with these next two? Yeah, I think so. You think he get? You think he get in? I think him and Taylor will both make it. I do too. All right, Luis, seventy third. One more day. All right, on the women, man, I didn't see this. Emily Rolf is leading. Well. It's two engine workouts. Two, that's yeah, a good totally. point. Second and first. That's, that's yeah. a good and she's point. She's taller, like rowing, and then grip on fatigue on box step over step ups. Like, yeah, Fuselier in the top five. <clears throat> Ariel, that's Abigail, really good for Fuselier. I mean, yeah, uh, the second one. No, I know the first one. The first one, one the second. I expect the second one. Yeah, true. One, actually, though, and like yeah. she's going to be top three in the gymnastics one, and then then bottom. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know what <laughs> bottom. You know what I mean, dude. It's gonna like it's gonna it's not gonna be a sixteenth or a third. But three out of four, like I bet she's top seven. That fourth one should on the be. last one, you'll think she'll be top seven. No, no, no. Seven? Overall. Oh, overall, overall. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's get down. Who's holding on to fortieth? Oh, here's one. Danica Lawson Rickerson. That's a librarian. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say ophthalmologist. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say lawyer. Anyone with three three names? Attorney. Attorney at law. Attorney at law. That's a mouthful though. Danica Lawson. She's got law in her law. name. Come on. <laughs> Danica Lawson? Rickerson, the law boss? <laughs> That's so much name. Oh, I didn't even see who's in forty first. <laughs> Danny Spiegel, forty first. Oh, she's Nelson. a she's a social she's an influencer. Andrea freaking Nissler, man. She's a pregnant lady. <laughs> Recently. Uh, who's out here? Kelly Clark. Come on, Kelly. Stay, st- get in there. We'll go to the next page. Ariel oh, yeah. Sanders. I worked Ariel out Sanders. with her. Oh yeah. Yeah. She's uh, another person under Coach Carly Bell. Matthews. Jeez. She's 40. Dang. All right. All right let's keep going. We're almost there. Uh, this is the East, North America East men. Going down to 40th place, Jacob Hart. I knew a Jacob Hart. He used to go to my gym. It's not that's him. a guy who was in the military. Spencer Pancheck, Luke Pot, Jacob Hart. Yeah, that's good. Good military guy. I, forget, I keep forgetting to play the. Damien Conciatori, 29. He's, Jordan he's a, Kerr. He's a magician. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Jacob Paff. 43, Will Carter, Garrett Clark. Garrett Clark, he was at Rogue, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. I, I think he wishes he wasn't at Rogue, but yeah. Yeah, he was like beat up or something. His hands were. Oh, that's right. His hand. a shredder. All right. I know we got a few guys in here. Jorge Fernandez sitting at 56. Ben Smith sitting at 58. RJ Mester. RJ Mestre. Hey, Ackerman. A lot of teams. Guys. Yeah, Ackerman. Uh, Blair McDonald. Isn't uh, Lionel Franco really down Wait, there? Women? Oh, yeah. Is yeah, he? way down there. I think he was like 300. Than I thought, yeah. Taylor. Get it. There's time. Ta- there you have it. You can do it. You can. Do I it. think he will. I think the scores he put up will do it. You think he's getting two top tens at the end here? I think he's getting I do. For, I, for top three. I think he'll get a top, yeah, a top five. I've heard two scores that were better than his already. So a top five. Top five. Top 20? A top 20, yeah. I think that'll get him in. I think that'll get him in. Because then the average is what? If if you're like 250? 250 total points? Um, Right? Because we said 25? Say say he has 250 total points. Oh, across four? 
across four. That would be like 55. Total points. Yeah. You think so? 57 oh, 55, and averaging 55? Yeah, like 57 and a half or something like that. But uh, but that will be good enough. Like, you don't have to average 40th to hit 40th. Let's see. Let's just see what it took last year. North America East men, 40th place, had 438 points. Yeah. But that was with five scores. Five scores. So 438, you know, actually that's close. Because if you average it, what, 438 by five, that actually might be like 55. <laughs> close to 58. Uh, eight divided by five. No, oh, five times six is eight hundred. Yeah, I'm way off. Oh yeah, come on. Yeah, it's it's 80th, like yeah, 80, yeah. 84 or something like that. It's 87, but that was much did better you, than did my you do your calculator. I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I 84 was off off the dome right there. That was good. All right. Okay, let's go to the East women. Almost there. Ooh, yes. 39th, tied third. That means Bryn Carrick is a good friend of mine, but um, she, Alyssa Lang. She's not Logan, good at handstand push ups, so she, she will not Brent be there. Carrick. So 38th, Caroline Stanley holding on, Jennifer McVeigh, Rachel Clousing. I mean, Jordan Sweck. Got all these names. Whew. And I feel like she'll do well. Jordan will do well in the gymnastics one. It's a lot coming. <clears throat> All right, European men, Yonikowski, dude. I say he's ageless, but he's 29. <laughs> dude, I know. It's crazy. He's been in forever, but he started so young, you know? Tie, three-way tie for 38. So all three are in. Tiago Lucis, Caleb Clements, Ludwig. Who's Hansen. 41? Uh, <laughs> M-Dog. <laughs> M Dog was a strong man back in his day. M Dog, twenty eight, from Poland. Yep, that checks. We have Sam Stewart, Michael Smith, a couple of Irish boys on the outside looking in. David Sharunke. It's close. All right, last one for the women. Fortieth place, Inga Los Loftsinus, Marie Raven. Lena Richter, although you're going team. Uh, Terry Helgadotter, 43. Lucy McGonigal, 44. Outside looking in. They should be... Terry's going to be fine tomorrow. Terry will be good. 24-3 and 24-4. Yeah, Lucy will be fine as well. Those two will be fine. Even Watch with the wrist, you think? She's like always complaining about her wrist. Uh... I mean, it's mm. all handstands and then all lifting. True. True. But, all right, those are your 40. Those are in. Those are who's in, who's out. All right, before we bail, we will be recapping the full quarterfinals or strength of field system on Wednesday of next week. Uh, Bill and I will do a live recap of my 24-4 debacle that I'm sure will happen tomorrow. <laughs> <clears throat> then we have analyzing the programming on Thursday, right now, and then Jeopardy's back. It's time. Ooh, have you have back. you gotten your next team yet? So I asked Hiller to see if he'd come on board. Okay, and he's checking his schedule, and I'm working on the second one. But John's there. John's yeah, defending John. his title. I really just kind of want to bring Taylor back just for the entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> You should have him on until he wins one. And then, and then, and then, and then don't bring him back. Yeah. Just- <laughs> so usually we bring the champions back, but Taylor has lost everyone. And so we just kind of bring him back in hopes that he could finally get his one. And then, <laughs> but yeah, so that's coming in on Friday. So we got a lot of stuff happening, but uh, that's it. You guys have the numbers, uh, guesses or predictions on changes on the overall top 100 for the women. John. I think Europe will go down. And North America, East and West will go up, but not, but not by a substantial amount. Your women have 48. So I would say they'll have 40 by the end of it. Okay. And West those eight will be 12. Those eight will be displaced amongst East and West. Okay. And then the same thing for the men. Europe will drop. They'll drop to North America. Mm-hmm. Any other than just like little exchanges in the other four? I think Oceania will go up 
by two, two to three. Okay, on both sides. <sighs> Bill, I'm I'm real similar to that. I think that because of the style of workouts that are coming up in the next two, um, it is going to change the leaderboard quite a bit because they are vastly different from the first two. Mm-hmm. So I think, uh, you know, with, with Europe and we, t- we, you know, John's talked about this a lot that, um, they are not as strong as, um, a lot of the, the, uh, North America athletes are not on the men and the women's side. So I think that that, that number is going to drop, um, and that will be soaked up by East and West. Um, and then I think I think same thing with Oceana because we've we've talked about again with that weightlifting uh, and it is a fitness weightlifting. It's not just pure strength. There's a there's a definite fitness component yeah. to it. Yeah, um, sure. But I think that this the you are going to have your stronger, um, you know, it, it's shoulder and it's I mean, it's gymnastics for event three, but it is a lot of shoulders. And I think way more. I think everyone's thinking of it as just gymnastics, but the shoulder strength that's needed on that one between these two events is going to be massive. So I think that there's, yeah. that's where that jump is going to be. Uh, I think everybody is probably redoing one workout only tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to do both of them. Are you going to redo four and three? Yeah, I'm going to do three in the morning and four in the afternoon and four in the afternoon is just sending it just to see if I can beat it. Like it's, it's so easy to redo. If so, right. Yeah. We are not the same person. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so I don't even need to warm up for four. I could put 135 on and just go. Well, I do. So warm up's the first three bars. I, I have sounds like all my events. I am <laughs> I'm doing four tomorrow morning. I'm very nervous because this so the heavy clean and jerks at 225 is what tore up my shoulder two years ago. So that's, I, that's so I <laughs> I've only I've only done 225 once since shoulder surgery. And that was like two months ago. I have not even put 245 on the bar. So I am very nervous about tomorrow. It could be a great. Uh, That's legit nerves, dude. Those are yeah, legit that, nerves. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I'm, just, I'm just nervous. Nerve. Like, the, how I heard it was so weird and fluky. And it was on the clean. <laughs> that is weird. So is the goal one clean and jerk with 245? If I get one clean and jerk at 245, I will be over the moon. Over the moon. Miss Masters, I'm not hurt anymore. I I've, get that. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just. Do you, do you have? I do you have that strength wise? The video you sent me at 225. Know. Like, I think you for sure have it for one. I just don't know. Like, but I don't, I don't know, know if I'll have, have it for one. If if I even get through the 10 at right, 225, right. right? Like, at 10 at 225, it'll be 10 more than I've done, or nine more than I've done. I've done one in two years. So if I get through that and I get one, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. I, I would actually love, I would love to get one at 225 and just not be afraid of it. And then once I get that, I think I could probably start like putting, I, I need to give it a full go because every time you try not to hurt yourself lifting, you end up hurting yourself because you're not giving it a hundred percent. You'll get the first one and then you'll be like, okay, it, that was fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think after right. three, you'll start pushing the pace. We'll see. All right. Uh, uh, but I, I am genuinely like scared of this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I was nervous about 24 too. Cause I just knew what it was going to end up being. And it was what I thought it would be, <laughs> but yeah, so we'll see, but uh, we'll recap that tomorrow. And then uh, what do y'all think hmm. the top score is going to be for that one? Ooh, I'm going to say oh, Adler yeah. gets 35 reps and that's the top. Score that's a, that's a good pick. Yeah, that's good. What did the guys get? 28. 31. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Dallin got 31 and Colton got 31. I mean, that's like, that's like 30, yeah. that's like 30 seconds extra getting four reps. Yeah. Well, I you just, know. Oh, or well, mixing it up more during reps the time. same amount of time is what's going to happen. Uh, no, but totally. like after I, I one episode it, of Jeopardy, yeah. everybody thinks that like John actually makes me angry. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't like each other. That's, that's we, yeah. <laughs> it was funny. The best part was that I knew I was right, but John just wouldn't give in. <laughs> I think I came to a realization at the end of it. Yeah, at the end, we got there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at the end, you got there. I was already yeah. there. Yeah, I got there. <laughs> <laughs> but we get to revisit that on Friday, sure, which is going to be awesome. It's going to be great. Uh, five new categories. I think I'm going to be a different monster now that I know how to, how to do it. He'll play the game. He's going to strategize the whole yeah. thing. 
I would like to pick a thousand at, right off the bat for everything. All right, oh, I, I well, I'm still one. doing that. But it's, it's... <laughs> oh well, hey, Bill, John, thank you guys so much. Uh, thanks again to Mike Halpin and Known and Noble for all the numbers, the work, the information, uh, bringing our system to light and showing how entertaining and realistic this can actually be. So we hope you guys enjoy the fun. We know I, I know I do. And uh, good luck to everybody out there doing and redoing the last, last day, week. everybody. Oh, last oh, day. Oh, last day. Good last luck. Push. Have fun. Kick ass. Be safe. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.